I'm Lisa London. I'm the accountant beside you, and I'm the author of Quick Books for Churches and Other Religious Organizations. In my book, I promised that I would show you how to use your donations entry screen to actually send an email to your donors as soon as you receive it. Now, if you don't have the nonprofit version of QuickBooks, this will say sales receipts. Still means the same thing. So let's click on donations or sales receipts. If you have the sales receipt one, you're going to see something that looks like this. If you have the uh, nonprofit edition, you'll see one that says donation. Now, as you probably know, if you've used QuickBooks, if you put a customer in here, and we're going to add a donation, and we're going to add about a thousand dollars here, um, and it's check number and check. Right? When we do all that, and if we were to go and email him directly a sales receipt or a donation receipt, here's what it would look like. Not very personal, not very exciting, right? Um, and if it's sales receipt, it'd say just like that, only it'd say sales receipt. So what I would like to do is make it a, a nicer, more personal one. So under the Intuit standard donations, I am going to go into formatting. I want to manage a template. Now, right here's a standard donation. I need to make a copy of this, okay? Because you don't want to mess up the original ones. So I'm going to have a copy. We're going to call, we're going to call this one, thanks. Okay, the customer or your donor never sees this, so you can call it anything you want. Then come down here and press OK. Now, this brings you up a screen that says Basic Customization. Um, and what this says, this allows you to use your logo. So if you click that, then you can pull up and, and load up your logo. I don't have a church logo to show you, but I, I could load mine up if you'd like to see it, um, but I won't. So that's very easy, and that will then replace this area here that has your name, your church's name and address with your logo. The color scheme is just how, how you would like to change the color scheme to see what it would look like. You know, harder heart, easier to read. Um, we're not going to worry that you can play around with those. Again, you can change the fonts so that the different areas have different fonts. And we'll look at that a little bit later. Now you need to say for the company side, this is actually your church or your nonprofit organization, the company's name and address you want to show there. If you want to have your email address showing, you might click that on. Um, and it's going to give you some warning notes. I'm going to say don't display this in the future just so it doesn't irritate us. Um, but for now I'm going to leave that out. And print status stamp. Well we don't really need to say whether it's paid or pending because this is a donation, right? So I want to get that out of there. All right. And now I'm going to update the information. So here's where you can type in your church's name and phone number and any of those kind of things if you needed to update any of that. Now let's go into um, additional customization. Now, if you are, if you have my book, Churches, Quick Book for Churches and Other Religious Organizations, if you look at chapter 15, around page show 267 or so, you can follow along with uh, what we're doing here. So, um, what I'd like you to do now is you've got the additional customization here. What this tells you is on the screen, you want to see these things. And when you print the invoice or donation receipt, you want to have these things. So we don't really need the title. We don't need it to say donation across the top. So let's get rid of that on the screen and on the print. We do want the date. That's a good thing to know. We don't care what the sale number is. Can't imagine. We do know you to know who we sold it to. So that'll be this area here. Um, we don't have a ship to. They already know their check number. I wouldn't worry too much about that. They know they wrote a check. I wouldn't worry about that. So now, as you can see, we're down to the date, your church's name, the donor, and the donation and amount they made. Now, even these things, when it says sold to donor, we don't have to ask the donor up there. Let's just get rid of that name. And they can read the date by themselves. We don't need to tell them it's a date. So we're going to get those things off of there. Now, uh, let's go. That was the, in effect, what they're calling the header. All these, these headings, what we've taken care of here. Um, that date, we don't need to have on there either. 
Yeah, we put that in there, okay. So you can see it went away there also. Um, now let's go to the columns. The columns you can see are description and amount here. Well, we don't want it to say description. And, well, we don't even need it to have that there. We do need the amount to show, so but we don't want to say amount. So we're going to get rid of that one also. And I'm not going to worry about it's on the screen for the moment. So here we are. Now we just have, here's our donor, here's the date, and here's the amount. Hmm. Again, not terribly interesting. <laughs> so um, now I can train a donor message. All right. So this is if you had a standard donor message that you put on there, but um, along the bottom. And I don't want it to do that, so we're just going to get rid of that too. All right. Now, this is on a print preview. I just can see. Okay, well, that's not any better. It's even actually worse than our previous one. So let's go out to Layout Designer and see what we can do to make it more interesting. Here's where you can actually move the boxes around. Okay, so remember this box said date. Well, we don't need that box in there, right? So what we can do is that we can, but I, sorry, I should have told you that. I just right clicked on that box and it brought me up the label field for date. So I could actually put a name here and it would say date. Um, and now it's asking, do you want the text right, left or center justified? Here is a border. Well, I want to get rid of that box, so I'm going to get rid of all the borders. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Border. I'm going to get rid of the borders and hit OK. Now, um, now if we preview this, let's see if it will preview it for me. And hit OK. Now when we preview it, you can see that the box is around that 1031. Even though they still showed up on the screen, they're gone now. Okay, so I'm going to close that and back to Layout Designer. So we got rid of those boxes. I'm going to get rid of boxes on every single um, one here because we don't need a thank you letter to say there's uh, surroundings on it. Okay. So this one has any borders on it. Okay, getting rid of those borders. Let's see, actually, let's even go delete. I want to delete those top boxes because we don't really actually need them. We do need to delete the church name, so let's leave that one alone. Now, did we get rid of those borders? Yes, we had. Okay. So now, we can't get rid of the box around the, um, we can't get rid of the, the little box here, but we can make it so we don't see it. So let's go back to borders here. We get rid of those. Okay. Now, make sure there's no more borders there. Yep, get rid of all those borders. All right, now I think we've gotten all the borders. Um, nope. Gosh, we don't, really don't need a total here, do we? So let's just delete that completely. I just hit the delete button. Um, and now I'm going to hit properties. Can I just delete that again? Oh, cancel. Let's delete it there. All right. So now we've gotten rid of everything except, let's go up here your church name, the donor's name, the date, and the amount. So, but we do need to add a text box that says something to it. So you don't need to mess with this unless you want to change the fonts because that's your donor's name. Um, this we want to make a lot smaller. And I'll show you why. What we're going to do, move this box over here. I want to make this box be pretty much just the size of the number that you're going to be um, getting there. Now, the thing you have to remember with this process is that it's not going to be pretty as in you can't format it like you would a normal Word file. So it's not going to look as pretty as you're going to want it to, but we're just going to, it's going to be so convenient you'll like it anyway. So let's add a text box. 
In the text, we want to say your continued support is appreciated. Thank you for your donation of, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, oops, I forgot to tell it not to have a box around that, right? Let's get rid of those borders again. Notice the default is to have borders. OK, now let's spread this out like this. Then what you're going to do is, there we go, now we're going to move the amount to be right next to this box. Right, I want to edit this box, so I just double clicked in that and I'm going to put a dollar sign there, dollar sign, so that it looks like have here. Oops, did I not make now I need to make the box a little bit smaller, larger. Okay, now I want to move this close to here. Try to line it up as best you can. There we go. Now what we don't have is a period at the end and you could put one over here. Let's try to put one over here. We'll see how that does. So I'm going to add another text box. And I just want to put period. And I want to left justify it. Okay, now again, gotta get rid of those boxes. Okay, and I need that this one that's the period to be over here. Can't hardly see where that period is, but I'm gonna guess it to be right around there. All right, now let's just real quick. Hit OK, and we're going to see what this looks like. OK, so now if I preview it, see, it says, here's your church name. There's Joe Smith, the date. Your continued support is appreciated. Thank you for your donation of $1,000. Again, I need to play around with that a little bit. Now you can just go back in to the um, fonts area. Actually, you can go back to layout designer. Here we go. Um, let's move just a tiny bit over. That should help. <laughs> okay, so now you've got this and now you can change these fonts by using your properties. All right, so um, text, here's the font. Okay, now maybe I want it to be size 12. So I can read it a little better. And maybe I want the date down here. You can, again, play around with where you would like it to have. Um, again, font, let's go to 12. OK. And you have to do that for each box so that they all match. And then you have to make sure that Even that little decimal we want to match. Want. Okay. But now this, I don't we'll have to see if this works because now because I made the font bigger, it's down here. I may need to move these down again. So hit OK again. And oh, we need to get that page number off there too. And we'll hit print preview. So see now we need to change our, our box so that this works more appropriately. So let me show you real quick. I like to kind of make mistakes on it so you see exactly what you need to do as you're playing around with it. All right, so let's look at the properties on this one again. It's center justified. Let's left justify it first. Okay, now, and what we're finding is it's going to be hard to get that dollar box. Well, maybe not. Let's see if we can get that dollar box right there. And what we have to be careful is is that the dollar box is big enough that if, you know, it's a $10,000 one, we've still got enough there. Okay, so let's take a look and see what that did. Okay, so pretty close. I get my decimal not quite the right place. But anyway, you get the idea. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, and let's see, uh, and we're going to hit OK. 
and we are now going to hit OK again. Now, the template is now thanks. So when I come back here to uh, Joe Smith's donation, I can now, if I want to send him an email with this, we're going to preview it, this is what's going to be attached. And all you got to do is send email and it attaches it to it. If you want to see what a normal sales receipt looks like, you can still switch it back and it'll still go back to the same one. Isn't that a neat trick? So you can switch between the two regardless of how many templates you set up. So I hope that helped. Play around with it, change the fonts, change the color, change the size, move things around, have a fun time with it, okay? And be sure and check my website, accountantbesideyou.com, for uh, new books, more interesting information, downloads, all kinds of fun stuff. Can't wait to see you. Take care.